Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, anything you need to know about me is down in the description box. All right, guys. Let's just see. Let's see what's going on in your overall energy right now. Guys, don't forget to flip those energies. I pull for you, but it could also be the person's energy. All right, Holy Spirit. For the collective, what's going on? Because we're about to wrap this year up, right? We got to wrap it up. Spirit wants you to find balance, guys. This is full moon in Libra. You got the scales. So it's probably something in your life, guys, that needs balance. And then we have full moon in Virgo. So you need to take inspired action. Uh, stop sitting there. Stop thinking that it's going to fix itself. It's not going to fix itself. Guys, you need to find balance, figure out what it is that you want, what it is you truly want, and then go after it. All right, guys, is this Kipper? Yep, I didn't realize I had Kipper, but it's Kipper. I thought it was um, under the roses, but we have Kipper. All right, guys, I'm just going to try to throw out a, a few readings here, and then hopefully one will be for you. Holy Spirit with Kipper, what's going on? Don't forget, guys, Kipper's figurative. So if it's a man on here, it's a man. If it's a woman, it's a woman. Holy Spirit. Guys, I hope you all are doing well. Hmm. Somebody, whoever this person is, they're in their thoughts. It's a man. This man is thinking about bringing you a gift. I mean, it is holiday time. Uh, they're, they could be thinking about bringing you a gift. This person could live at a long distance from you. Maybe it's a long road. Maybe it's been a long time coming. Maybe they've been thinking about bringing you this gift. But it's like they need to take, if this is you, sir, you need to take inspired action. Because this is a man here. So a man is thinking about bringing you a gift. But then also, this woman here, I don't know if this gift is money. <laughs> Because you have unexpected money here. Which means you don't even see this coming. So, is this man bringing you money? Is this man bringing you a business opportunity? Is this man... This man could probably be bringing you something that will bring about unexpected money. Right? It could be something in that gift that's like, okay, within that gift you can make money doing that. Right? But whatever it is, they're really trying to get to you. They really need to... I guess talk to you. They need to take inspired action, right? Stop stop waiting. But it's unexpected money. Somebody could be in their thoughts, guys, either about a child or about a new beginning. The gift may be a house. You may get this gift in your house. You may be gifted a house. But there is a small child here. I don't know if this person is, oh, oh. but this is the military here. It's a man in uniform. So it looks like you may be going to court. Either a man in uniform is coming to you, but then you're the good lady. So unexpected money is coming to this good lady. But it's been a long road for this man in uniform. You're going to get a gift, guys. I don't know. You're probably going to get a gift in your house. But somebody is thinking about either a small child or a new beginning. Because with this deck, the small child can be a new beginning. You know, because it's brand new, brand new baby. So, we will see. Holy Spirit. What is going on, right? Let's find out. Holy Spirit. So the person that's in their thoughts is hard to see. I'm going to put it over here. The person that's in their thoughts, guys, is a king of cups in reverse. King of cups in reverse. Maybe they're unsure about uh, offering this gift, but they want to. They're in their two of cups energy. Somebody wants a partnership with you. Maybe they're going to come and bring a gift. This person has been in and out of your life, guys. This was the Knight of Wands energy. Whoever this person is, they have they have been in and out of your life for a while, right? But now, I guess they want to come in forever because 
they were in and out of your life because they were dealing with other people, other situations, other things. But now they're not dealing with those that, that anymore. They're not dealing with that anymore. But they're sitting in a lot of regret. They're probably sitting in regret because they never found their balance. They're still looking for their balance. They didn't offer the gift of love. So they're, they're regretting. This King of Cups is regretting not offering you this gift of love that they wanted to. But now they're busy working. I think they're trying to put two and two together. Either that or that's you busy working, not even seeing this coming. There was an ending in this person's life. Not a one. They lost money. They lost money. But they never stood up for themselves. They never told you how they felt. They never even spoke up to whoever they was dealing with sin, right? They just kind of sitting in their regrets. When spirit is telling them they need to find balance. This person is starting to reap their rewards in life. They're starting to reap their rewards. And now they're able to move on. They release something. Whoever this person was dealing with, with this Knight of Wands in reverse. And this nine of pentacles in reverse. They lost money in that situation. And it wasn't a gift from spirit. It wasn't something that they should have been doing. It's like this person was just out there doing it. Right? They were just doing it. And now they're realizing they love you. So they're realizing they love you now. But let's see what this small child is. There's hope in the new beginning. And now baby Holy Spirit. Clarify the small child. the magician in reverse it's something king of swords okay so they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you because here's the ace of wands sitting right here so that's what this new child is this new child is this person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you uh but they need to take inspired action because i think in the past they didn't take action right they didn't take action in the past Let's find out why. Is Confessions here? Holy Spirit, why didn't this person take action in the past? Holy Spirit, why didn't they take action in the past, right? Because they don't believe in marriage. They don't believe in the union of marriage. So I don't know if you was pushing marriage on this person. And that's something that they just don't want. But whatever it is, they, they still want this balance with you. They say you deserve so much more than me. Wow, that's actually kind of sad. This person loves you. They want to be with you and all of those things. But, and they know they let you slip away. But they love you, but they just don't believe in marriage. And they think you deserve so much more than that. I don't think they believe in marriage. So I don't know if you need to find balance and take inspired action because it probably never be or they're taking they're trying to find balance now and they're going to take inspired action to marry you or eventually end up in marriage. All right, guys, that's a toughie. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, 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 share and subscribe. Peace.